Choosing the right domain name for your local business requires a bit more strategic planning than you might think, and choosing the most suitable domain name for your local business will help your website rank higher in Google search so that you can be discovered easier online, as well as give your brand and business more perceived authority in the eyes of your website visitors. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. I hope all is well in your side of the world. Now in this brief tutorial for local businesses, I'm gonna help you identify the best domain name for your business. And then I'm going to walk you through the process of actually purchasing that domain name. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and choose the right domain name for your local business. <music> Now, if you're not too sure what a domain name is, basically domain names are a key component to the infrastructure of the internet. Your domain name is usually a unique name associated with your business that acts as the foundation to your online presence. Your website can be found online by someone typing in your domain name into their browser's search bar. There are two important parts of your domain name that I want to cover in today's tutorial when it comes to actually choosing and buying a domain name. First, we have the domain name itself, and we also have the top level domain, TLD. Choosing the right domain name and the top level domain is important for online branding and setting up the foundation for establishing a strong online presence. Now, in terms of your domain name, your domain name should be your business name. If you currently do not have a domain name, what you can do is head over to hostpuffer.com or feel free to click the link in our description below the video, and that's going to take you here. Now, there's also other platforms and domain providers. However, we typically recommend Hostpapa for small businesses looking to buy a domain name and web hosting because Hostpapa offers exceptional 24-7 support and their platform is easy to navigate, especially for beginners. Okay, so once you've arrived at Hostpapa, simply navigate up to domains and click here and then navigate down to the search bar to search for your ideal domain name. Now, every business needs to have a domain name. For local businesses that still do not have a domain name or even a business name, think about how you can add keywords that are related to your business, products or services or the location that you operate in if you operate in a specific geographical location. And you want to add these keywords into your domain name. This is going to help your website rank higher in search engines like Google when potential customers are looking and searching for your services or products. For example, let's take a look at a local roofing business that operates in Sydney, Australia. What type of keyword do you think people are typing in on Google to find a reliable roofing contractor to fix a leak in their roof? Well, people were typing in keywords like Roofing Repairs Sydney, Metal Roofing Sydney, or Roofing Specialist. These are keywords that people are typing in in Sydney to find a roofing contractor. Now, if you want to learn more about keyword research, if you want to dive deeper into this topic, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will help you get started with keyword research. Okay, so going back to our roofing example, we've identified those keywords that people are typing in in Sydney to find a roofing business. So a great business name and a domain name for a local roofing business in Sydney could be toproofingsydney.co.au or mikesroofingsydney.co.au or even rightroofrepair.co.au. Can you see how I've added keywords in the business name and domain name? This is essentially going to help your domain name and website rank higher on search engines like Google compared to other domain names that do not have keywords in the name. So for local businesses, think about how you can add relevant keywords related to the location, the business, 
the products or services that are associated with your business. However, if you run a international business and sell products or services all around the world, then I would recommend using a unique brand name that does not require a localized or relevant keyword. Think about top brands like Nestle, Meta, Wix, Under Armour, Apple, and others. They all have short, sharp, unique, yet simple, powerful brand names. So if you're looking to grow your business internationally, I suggest thinking about a unique name, a business name and domain name that will make you stand out from the crowd internationally. Now, in terms of the top level domain, TLD, the TLD is on the far right hand side of your domain. And without going into too much detail, this is a great way to identify the location that you operate in. So for local businesses, the best practice for ranking locally and for reassuring your customers is to choose a domain name based on the business location and type. So for example, here are some popular TLD top level domains for the local business type and location. So here are some local business examples of a TLD. For the US, they typically use .us or .com. Canada is .ca, Australia .co.au, England .co.uk, Indonesia .co.id, and New Zealand we have here is .co.nz. Now other business examples of TLDs, top level domains, uh, if you're an international business, typically you would use .com. If you're a software business, you'd consider using .io. If you're a not-for-profit organization, then you'd consider using .org. And if you're in government, then you'd use .gov. However, there are currently over 1,500 TLDs that you can choose from. So don't stress out too much. Just think about the location that your business operates in and choose a TLD based on that location. Okay, so back here for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and add a roofing business that will be operating in my hometown in Taranga. And the name is going to be called Top Roofer Taranga. And so this is the domain name. We have Top which identifies the business. Next to that, we have roofer, which is the keyword associated to the industry we operate in. And then Tauranga is the location that we operate in because we operate in a geographical location, which is a region called Tauranga. Then for the TLD, I'm going to add .co.nz. Now, if you want to learn more about all the different types of TLDs that you can choose from, what I'll do is add a link down below in the description that will share all the different types of TLDs that you can choose. However, like I mentioned, this is the appropriate TLD for this domain name. So I have the domain name and I have the TLD. Then I'm going to simply navigate over here and click search. And as you can see, if I navigate up here, congratulations, the domain toproofertauranga.co.nz has been reserved. Now, if you do not come to this page, that means that your domain has already been taken. So what you want to do is create variations of your domain name. Then all you need to do is navigate down the page and choose your billing term. I'm going to go ahead and keep one year selected. And then we have these other options that we can select. I'm going to untick these options for now and then navigate down and add your information and then simply create your account. And that's how you can go ahead and choose a domain name and then purchase your domain name. Remember, you can use other domain providers to purchase your domain name. However, HostPapa is our preferred provider. Now, if you want to learn how you can actually create a website with your domain name, we have dozens of tutorials that show you different processes in terms of using different platforms for creating your own website. However, what I'll do is link a comparison video up above and I'll also link it down in the description that will guide you through our top five free website builders for small businesses. So go ahead and check that out if you want to create your own website after purchasing your domain name. 
And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief tutorial, helping you identify the right domain name and purchasing that domain name for your local business. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And remember we have all the resources we mentioned in this video down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you have any questions, again leave them down below, like this video, and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.